A pair of bloggers from India fell off an 800 foot cliff at Yosemite National Park and reports are saying that they may have been taking a selfie. I'm going to tell you everything you need to know right now on IO. Welcome back to Inform Overload, I'm Charlotte Dobre. If this is your first time here, subscribe for daily news updates on everything that's happening in your world. We live in a time when everyone is always trying to chase the perfect photo. Photographers on Instagram are constantly putting themselves and their subjects in dangerous scenarios, all for the sake of getting that epic photo. Taking dangerous selfies does have some benefit. The more dangerous it is to take a picture, the more response you will get. Unfortunately, taking epic photos does have its dangers and an Indian couple found that out the hard way. Vishnu Viswanath and Manashi Murthy were married travel bloggers that loved adventure. Born in India, they moved to New York and then California, where Vishnu worked as a software engineer for Cisco Systems in San Jose. They were high school sweethearts who married in 2014 and they caught the travel bug. They ran a travel blog called Holidays and Happily Ever Afters. They would regularly share their journeys with their 20,000 Instagram followers. The couple went everywhere from the Maldives to Florence, Italy. They had recently been to the White Sands National Monument in New Mexico, the Brooklyn Botanic Garden in New York, and they lived the dream traveling around the United States in a red Mustang convertible. They were also known to always spread messages of positivity, so when word spread that the couple plunged to their deaths at Yosemite National Park, people were devastated. Their blogging adventures took them to Yosemite National Park, known for its cliffs and waterfalls. Last week, it was reported that two people had died at Taft Point, a popular outlook spot for tourists and their photos. The point overlooks Yosemite Valley and towers 3,500 feet above. Park officials identified the couple on Monday as the two people who had fallen. They fell 800 feet to their deaths onto an area with very steep terrain, which made recovering their bodies that much more difficult for park employees. Park rangers had to use technical climbing and rappelling techniques as well as a helicopter to get to them. As of right now, it is unclear how they could have fallen, but two people who knew the couple suggested that they were trying to take a photo. Their tripod was set up near one of the ledges, according to Vishnu's brother, just knew. But the incident is still being investigated. He wasn't present during the incident, so it's not certain how he could have known that. But Raj Kata, another friend of the couple, told the Washington Post during a phone interview that the couple could have been taking a photo. It is possible that one of them fell off the cliff and the other one tried to save them, but also fell. Interestingly, the couple ended up in the background of photos from other tourists that were in the same spot at the same time. A tourist named Sean Mattison is believed to have taken the last photos of the couple alive. Murthy was in the background of one of his selfies. She had bright pink hair and was easy to spot. According to Madison, she looked like she was having a good time and wasn't in distress. Several photos show Murthy posing at the edge of the cliffs, but there are no guardrails that would have protected her. I find it pretty surprising that with all the selfie deaths that have happened in recent years that there was nothing preventing this couple from falling. Apparently there is safety railing installed at the tallest point, but there are areas without protection. That being said, the couple regularly took photos in dangerous places. There's photos of them posing at the edge of canyons, mountains, and tall buildings. The ironic thing is, Murthy also told her followers on Instagram in the captions of at least two of her photos to be careful when taking these kinds of pictures. Wind gusts can be extremely dangerous and they would wait until the wind subsided before taking photos. One caption read, Did you know that wind gusts can be fatal? Is our life worth one photo? People have flooded their Instagram page, holidays and happily ever afters, with positive messages and words of support. Over the last six years, there have been 250 reported deaths related to people taking selfies, according to a study published in the Journal of Family Medicine and Primary Care. One of the top causes of selfie related deaths is falling from heights. We normally respond to comments at the end of our videos, but out of respect for the couple, we didn't think it would be appropriate. On behalf of IO, our hearts go out to the victims' families. Let this story be a lesson to everyone. One photo isn't worth losing your life over. That is all for now, and thanks for watching IO. If you want to continue watching, check out this playlist right over here.